Sydney is a cosmopolitan international city which draws in tourists from all around the world. It's a city well known for its cafe latte scene and fashionistas. It's not known for what lies beneath our very feet in many parks, sometimes only a few kilometres from the city centre. Watch as Snakey and his 21-year-old snake wrangling daughter navigate through Sydney's backyards on their way to catching and releasing some of the most dangerous reptiles in the world. My affection for reptiles started at a very young age. I grew up in a young suburb with a lot of bushland around it, which meant it had a lot of reptiles around the area too. So my training as a snake catcher and snake handler started out very early for me. I remember one time when I was playing a soccer match, I was only 12 years old. I looked over the side of the field and saw a black snake going across the car park. I left the field, went and caught the black snake, took it out of harm's way from the cars and let it go down the bush. We lost the game by one goal and I was actually meant to be goalkeeper at the time. So instead of hating on me so much, the rest of my teammates decided to give me a nickname. That nickname is Snakey, and I've had that nickname ever since. In the peak of the snake catching season, I can get up to 10 calls a day from Sydney siders needing my help. I get to work with my passion, which happens to be what most people fear. Every time I respond to a call out, I'm helping someone out of what could be a dangerous situation. That's what gives me job satisfaction. You text me through the address, I'll be there in about 25 minutes. Andrew has just been called to a job at Voyager's Point in Sydney Southwest. A young lady has phoned to say she has a red belly black snake next to her pool. Time is critical here as red belly black snakes are one of the most frequently encountered snakes on the east coast of Australia and they're responsible for a number of bites every year. Got a phone call a bit earlier. Lady rang up, very concerned. She had a couple of dogs, they were barking, noted that there was a snake in the backyard next to the pool. It was a red-bellied black snake. Very, very lucky that neither of them actually did grab the snake because red-bellied black snakes are pretty dangerous. If they do bite back, they do affect dogs pretty badly. There we go. Right here, we've just got this black snake in here. It's been after a blue tongue apparently, so hopefully we find it. Just come up a bit. Oh yeah. Hello. Hello, is that Lauren? Yeah. Hi Lauren, it's Andrew, how are you going? Hello puppies. Hello. You've got the ball to play with, so I won't open up let them out. <laughs> when I arrived, met them, dogs were nice and friendly to me. Had to lock them up and get them out of the way so we could look for the snake. <laughs> You're lucky. <laughs> so last I saw it. Yep. It's gone in that bit there. Oh, like into the, the oh, into that corner? Yep. Just over there? But it was along the tile, so it had its head or tail in the pool. Oh, so it was and, in the pool? Yep. Yeah, and it crawled out. Out of there and then went around the back corner? Yep, went in there. Okay, I'll have a look in there. I'm not coming out. And it was, you said it was chasing a blue tongue? Yeah. So okay. Blue tongue Where's the blue tongue hang out? It was just here and just, it's just gone. How big was the blue tongue? Was it a big one? No. Only a little one? Yeah. And the snake you said was really long? Yeah, it was basically the length of the start of the crane. Yep. Yep. About the end. Right, yeah, we're just going to try to look in this corner here and hopefully find where it's gone. It can probably climb up that corner. Yep. The leaves are pretty deep under here too, so it gives it a lot of cover if it wants to hide yeah. and cruise under. They can cruise under these leaves and not be seen. But uh, there's no leaf movement there at the moment. I'll just go along here and I'll, I'll push some of them around a little bit more. Hopefully, if something's in there, we'll get it to come out. Yeah. Or it might have gone down that way along there too, so. I think it's more likely to have gone up. Up, okay. Just 
just a little section with the hose in there, isn't it? The hose has been there a long time. It's all corroded and broken. The trees are growing through it. But there's no snake in there. Okay, looking around here, there's plenty of place for it to get to. There's lots of gaps all over the place too, so it's hard to say whether it whether it gets in through up the top, or I might even have a look around that edge that way in case it went back through the garden. You can check the hole back down. Okay, looking for... It may have made us fan. Made its way back up that corner up there. So I'll have a look at the back of the garden. Might be that whole back garden along here. He's, he, he might be using that as a bit of a thoroughfare up there. So might have a good look up around the top. Hello puppies. You be careful around them. I reckon you're the kind of dog that'll probably bite a snake. And if you do, you won't last too long. She told me where it was, ran next to the pool to start with. We looked in everywhere, went round the pool, round the backyard, all different areas, every part of the garden, I searched. I can see myself going in here. Hardest part is if I've actually got to let go of the trees and grab the snake at the same time. So um, I was looking around there, chasing around. I searched the whole yard. I was looking for ages, looking down the side. If it was going to be there, I would have found it. I was pretty convinced there was no snake in that yard and was just about to give up. There's lots of gats going all the way from the front here, so they're going right into the backyard. You can see where the dog likes to hang out. Good little area. Gaps under the fence along here, which things can travel through. I think they go straight out to the street there, doesn't it? But I thought I'd have another look and went up the back corner, decided to look over the neighbour's fence, thinking if something goes in next door, it might be there. How do you get on with your neighbours over the back? Brand new, because it's in their backyard. Look straight over the fence and there's this little black snake going along the fence there. It turned out to be a lovely lady that's been living in that house for only one month. Are oh, you not the one that was at the door? <laughs> I you? Was. Oh, you were? Okay. <laughs> I thought your hair looked lighter in the light. Hello, oh, nice to meet you. Um, we had a snake in our backyard. Oh, I see it. She's only been here one month. She's ended up with a black snake right in her backyard. The snake had only moved probably about 10 metres away from where I first saw it by the time we got in there. Still going down along the fence, which was very, very lucky. They're a shy snake, but Snakey will have to be extremely careful here as he approaches. Red bellies can deliver a serious bite when they feel threatened. The black snake is one of the most dangerous snakes in the world. There he is. It's a fiery little fella. Look at him down there. Hopefully he doesn't flip up too much. He wants to swip around and have a bit of a crack. He's a good sized little snake. Doesn't matter about the real size, this guy can still hurt you, that size there. He's hooding up, he's not that happy. But we'll um, get him away from those dogs and everything else. We'll whack him in this bag and get him away out of harm. It looked a little bit confused where it was on the other side of the yard. It looked like it did get a little bit of a shock. And uh, it looks like the dogs might have scared it. And it really was just looking for a bit of food, like chasing those lizards and stuff. So managed to grab it, wasn't too hard to catch. Got it out of the way. <laughs> there we go. Well, lovely that the neighbours all got to meet each other anyway as well. Meet each other. Yeah. And it took a snake together. Yes. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, no, so, no, you, no. oh you don't want to have a pet? <laughs> it is. It's venom venomous is what they say. Oh, right. So it is a venomous snake. And uh, one this size, if the dog did grab it, did get bitten by it, it would be life-threatening to a dog. To a good-sized human adult. Um, as you can see, it doesn't want to bite us for no reason. It only wanted to bite me because I grabbed it, of course. It oh, felt threatened by me. Okay. But uh, apart from that, what we're going to find is that if you get bitten by one of these, you could probably survive it. 
but you're going to be very, very sick for a long time. And you can oh, get like necrosis. Yeah, well, you can get necrosis and stuff like that in your skin. So that can cause a lot of skin tissue damage. And they cause internal kidney and liver damage and that sort of stuff as well. What are you going to do with it? I'll take it um, over to what, any neighbours you don't get on with. <laughs> no, no, I'll take it right out in the bush a long way away from here. <laughs> neighbours got to meet each other for the very first time. So it worked out a, a great moment all around for everyone. Yeah, this is the, this is the animal. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, I, won't, I, I won't let I'm it not touch actually you. scared. I'm from India. Oh, good, I'm yeah. I'm from Melbourne, but in India we get a lot of cobras just in the back. Yeah, of yeah. My mum's taught, put the kettle on. <laughs> put the kettle on and just, it'll go away on its own. No. Oh, and you, you, don't, you don't burn them, do you? We don't, yes. Oh, no. Because cobras are deadly. Yeah, they I know, but the only, the only one that's you deadly is the one that you try to hurt. If you, leave, if you leave them alone, they, no one gets hurt. We talk in India. So, um, she mentioned to me that she wasn't scared of snakes as well. But usually anyone who wants to kill a snake, they're scared of them. They don't want them around. You know, but I don't mind, like, I'm not scared of snakes. Yeah. But I would just give you a call if I find them. I Definitely, I'll, anyway. I'll leave you one of my cards. Yeah. Right. And that way, if you do see something, I'll keep the kettle on for y'all. <laughs> yes, for sure. And not for me only. <laughs> only a cup of tea. A cup of tea, not the snake. Don't throw it on the snake. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, lovely Thank meeting you. you. You're yeah, welcome. You. Glad I could help. Come back over in a, okay. a bit. Oh, yeah. No okay. Oh, uh, well, I'll get this little guy away. Yeah, he's all yep. <laughs> not a problem. Okay, little guy. We'll take you right out in the bush away from those dogs and those people that don't really want you around their house. Job well done all round. Thought we weren't going to find a snake to start with. Searched and I realised there wasn't one actually in the yard. Usually that's a bit of peace of mind for most people, but knowing it was still nearby usually isn't the result they want to hear. So glad we finally got it in the end. The neighbours are lovely, so we did really well. Job well done. Let's move on and let's get another one. <laughs> 